Research has found that people who follow a vegan diet tend to have a lower body mass index. This study compared weight loss over six months among people who followed vegan, vegetarian, semi-vegetarian and omnivorous diets. The results showed that people on a vegan diet lost more weight than the other groups. And this review of 96 studies of vegan and vegetarian diets concluded that plant-based diets were more effective for weight loss compared to omnivorous diets. But what do you do if you're still struggling to lose weight on a whole food plant-based diet? Well, let's hear from Dr. Michael Clapper on why you might not want to eat fat and carbs in the same meal. Uh, first of all, this is, uh, this is not about weight loss. It is just for the, for the frustrated vegan. I've been vegan five years and I'm still carrying this extra weight. Why can't I lose this weight? It's for those folks. And usually what's happening is that they are uh, eating fat and sugar at the same time. And by that I mean, yes, there's this term oxidative priority. And that just means it's easier for the body to burn sugar to blow part of glucose ring and harvest the energy. It's easier to burn sugar than burn fats, these long chain fatty acids that require a lot of enzyme steps uh, to metabolize these long chain fats. Given the choice, the, the body would rather burn sugar than burn fat. That's, that's the oxidative priority. That's easier to oxidize the sugar and the fats. So that said, if you eat food that has sugar and fat at the same time, like ice cream, uh, is fat and sugar, right? Pizza, fat and the cheese and sausage, um, the starchy crust, that's you know, another good fat and sugar combination. If you eat fat and sugar at the same time, and they're both your bloodstream, the liver and the body is like, mm, fat and sugar. I, I'm going to burn that sugar right now for energy. I'm going to store that fat for later. Uh, so you burn the sugar and store the fat. But as far as the vegans, mm, where are they eating fat and sugar? Well, pour oil on your pasta. That's a nice way to recreate that fat sugar combo. Have an almond butter and jelly sandwich. Now, you know, it's healthy, you know, but if you're trying to lose weight, you've recreated that fat and sugar combo. You're going to burn the sugar in the jelly and the bread. You're going to store the fat and the almond oil there. So if you're trying to lose weight, don't be fat. Don't put earth balance margarine on your baked potato. There's, there's fat and sugar, and it's going to keep you stuck. And again, this is just for the folks struggling to lose weight. If you're already lean, don't drive yourself nuts over this. Uh, but if you're trying to lose weight, you want to separate the fat and the sugars out by about four hours. Why? Because when you eat rice or potatoes, it takes about four hours to metabolize that and clear it out of your bloodstream for the insulin to go up and down and all that stuff. So if that's the case, then you allow for that. If you want to eat starter, have a couple of baked potatoes or some rice, great. Um, have it at noontime. Uh, instead of something oily on your baked potato, put some Mexican salsa on it. Put uh, last night's vegetable stew on it. Put something that isn't uh, oily and fatty. Then let the afternoon go by so your insulin goes up and down and the tail light clears the sugar out of your blood. And at dinner time, if you want to have something for some tahini dressing, uh, some olives or avocado, Put it on your salad in the evening. Put it on your non-starchy vegetables. Pour it over your asparagus and your broccoli. And uh, you'll metabolize the fat pretty quickly, but you're, you're less likely to store it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.